Hey everyone, this is Anna back with another stamping video. Today I want to show you how to make this really cute umbrella card using the Under My Umbrella stamp set. This is one of the cutest sets in our mini catalog right now. And if you haven't been thinking about it, um, our mini catalog is going to be retired here at the end, well, very beginning of June, end of May, very beginning of June. So I was looking through my things from the mini catalog the other day thinking, what do I want to highlight before these products are potentially retired? Some of them will be carried over, but we don't know which ones yet. And this was one of the sets that I thought, I really need to make a card with this uh, because I have not done a video with the stamp set yet. And it has this coordinating umbrella builder punch, which I love, that does the large umbrella along with the somewhat folded umbrella. And you can also punch out the, the handle for it as well. So this is what we're going to make today. I love the sentiments in this set. We have life showers bring love's flowers. That's the one I'm using today. Showered with love, no matter the weather, we're friends forever. Rain or shine, you're always on my mind. It's your day. Hello, sunshine. I love the hello, sunshine, just for a general one that you could use for anything. Um, but those are just really great sentiments that you could use for a lot of occasions. So what do we need to make this card? We need our old olive card base. We need two pieces of white cardstock that measure four by five and a quarter. We need a smaller piece of white that measures two and a quarter by two and three two and one, sorry, two and one half by two and three quarters. And then we need a couple of pieces of designer paper and pretend like they both look like this. They measure one and seven eighths by five. And then we will cut those in half to make the four pieces for the corners in the background. You also need a couple of pieces of designer paper that we're going to stamp on and punch out of. These are all from our Bird Ballad designer paper pack, which are just nice, pretty, springy prints. A lot of them have birds on them and flowers. I decided to choose some of the more, uh, more basic prints to use for this card. So let's, I said pretend like this one was still one piece. Uh, we're gonna cut this one in half. So I said it measures one and seven eighths inches by five. So I'm going to line it up at the two and a half inch mark and cut it in half. This way you will have two pieces each of two different prints that we can Put together like you can see on the front. So let's go ahead and get that ready. Here's one of my pieces of white that measures four by five and a quarter. I am going to put adhesive on the back of all of these. There you can see some of those bird prints from the Bird Ballad paper pack. I hope you are doing well where you are at. It is supposed to be springtime and it sure does not feel like it outside. So I thought this was a nice, nice card to think about spring, even though it doesn't really feel like it outside. So I'm going to alternate these. So I'll put the polka dotted one and then the striped one. Put the other polka dotted one down on this corner. And the other striped one down here. And we can go ahead and put this on our card base. So thinking about the mini catalog retiring soon, you should let me know what some of your favorite products in that catalog are. We still have a little bit of time here that I can highlight some of the ones that you wanna see. I do have plans for a video for the Timeless Tulips, which is one of my absolute favorites. That will probably be my next video. But what favorites do you have? What would you like to see? Poppies, I think I'm gonna do one with the poppies. Let's put this on the front. 
Now, here is that white cardstock that I will go ahead and stamp that. I'm using Calypso Coral ink today, and I'll stamp the sentiment down in the bottom corner of this piece. We'll go ahead and stamp the handle for the umbrella. If you're not exactly sure where you want to put this, you may want to wait and stamp it after you line everything up. But since I already did this, I know pretty much where I want it to go. So I will go ahead and attach this piece. Now, let's prepare that umbrella and the boots. So here are two of those prints from the Bird Ballad Pack. We'll stamp the boots onto the yellow one and the umbrella onto this one. Now you get to see the umbrella punch. So we just slide this right on here and line it up. I love when we have stamp sets that coordinate with punches. Punches are my favorite. They're so fast, they're so easy to use. Now the boots do not have a punch or a die that go out with them, that, that go with them. So it is time to do a little bit of fussy cutting. They're pretty easy to cut out. If this was some kind of crazy detailed flower or something, I would not be doing this. This doesn't take long. These are our paper snips. I love these scissors. They're perfect for ribbon. I don't know, if you, if you have scissors that don't cut ribbon very well, you should consider finding a pair that does. These are amazing. I love these snips. So got those trimmed out. See how fast that was. Now I'm just going to put a couple of dimensionals on the back of each of these. And that will be all. So I've I probably never mentioned this. I think about it all the time. My my hands are just not really cut out for videos like this. I I don't have model hands by any means. I've been working in the yard a ton. I've been trying to wear gloves so that they don't look as bad as normal, but my, uh, yeah, I've been working in the yard a ton and my poor hands are all beat up, so. So just ignore that. There we go, cue card with the Under My Umbrella stamp set and the umbrella punch that goes with it. So I hope you like this. Like I said, let me know what you love from the mini catalog that you would like to see some cards made with and hope you can join in next time. Have a great day, everybody.